Okay, great guys. Today, this week's lesson of focus is going to be on a little unknown law that's a law of physics that I actually was taught by a great man named David Christensen. David worked for... Oh, wow, that's getting obnoxious. David worked for Franklin Covey. Worked hand-in-hand -hand with Stephen Covey, would do those big events and uh, have thousands of people in the audience. And one of the core principles that they taught at, uh, and if you, if you haven't read The uh, Seven Principles of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey, I definitely recommend it, especially on Audible. God rest Stephen Covey's soul. He was a great man. And helped businesses across the country. One of the things that he taught was the law of entropy. Who has heard of this law? The law of entropy says that everything is never stuck in one place. It's always moving. So it's kind of like escalator, right? An escalator is always either going up or it's going down. It's never going to be in one place. And so what happens is we've had a lot of progress. We've made big, uh, you know, we've found solutions. We've grown. We've gotten better every single week. But what happens is after you grow quite a bit, and this has happened to me personally throughout my business career, is I start getting complacent. Oh, I start resting on my laurels, Grant Cardone, right? Thinking that I've achieved something. And while we've certainly achieved a lot of growth and success in the last few weeks, we're far from where we need to be. And so we want to stay away from getting complacent. And we need to get better every single day. We need to get better every single week and every single year. And so it's that type of relentless pursuit that's going to be where we need to go. I'm also reading a book called Relentless by Tim Grover. Is anyone familiar with Tim Grover? Tim Grover trained Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, some of the top NBA basketball players of all time. And a lot of his training was more mental, really, than even physical. And he talks about there's three kinds of people. There's the coolers, that is 95% of people that just kind of go through the motions never achieve success. There's the closers <coughs> that kind of focus in on how they can achieve some level of success. And then he talks about the cleaners. And the cleaners are those that are making, that are that represent the best Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryants in basketball, the Bill Gates, the Elon Musks, the Steve Jobs in technology. And so for each of us to achieve greatness, which is what we need to do cumulatively as a group, it's all about Staying relentless, getting better every single day, every single week, and every single year. And if we keep doing that, then we get better. If we get complacent and we just maintain, we'll eventually go down. Because you're never going to be in one spot. So that's what the law of entropy says. So my invitation to us is to get better every single day, every single week. And let's see where we can be in the month of March. And if we can get better than we were in the month of February, which we were outstanding this month, but we can do better. So that's our focus. Let's get better every single day, every single week, every single year, and then you'll blink and a few years down the road, it'll feel like you're you know, making incremental progress, but you'll have actually made a lot of progress. And to end that, I'll talk about one other guy. There's a guy online that's kind of big, like uh, Grant Cardone. His name's uh, Patrick Bet David. I like following his stuff. And he shows this picture of him. He's 14 years old, and he walks into a gym, and he... He was probably like me, just a skinny little weak dude going into the gym, and he could barely lift the bar on the bench press. The bar is about 45 pounds, and he's bench pressing 45 pounds, and people are making fun of him. And this big ripped dude comes up to him and says, David, hey, don't worry about that. You lift an extra two and a half pounds every single week, and in a few years, you'll be where you want to be. So he starts at 45 pounds, and he adds two and a half pounds to his bench press, to his squat, to all of his weightlifting. And a few years down the road, all of a sudden, he is huge, he's ripped, he's a bodybuilder, and I think he becomes uh, some sort of a Texas Ranger or something, and then he becomes an outstanding businessman after that. But he goes from this really weak dude to this incredibly ripped dude just by two and a half pounds a week. And so that's what we want to do. Can we get two and a half pounds better a week in what we're doing as a business? If we can do that, we're going to achieve greatness. Okay, let's go make it happen. Who's got our closing prayer today? <laughs> <laughs>